Hi everyone, this is Craig here again, and in today's quick start tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an autoresponder sequence as well as create email broadcasts using ProFollow. So let's go ahead and get started. So as Jeff was mentioning, ProFollow is a private label version of Aweber and has all the functions and features that Aweber offers as well. So what I want to do is start by showing you how to set up an autoresponder sequence within ProFollow. And then we're going to go in and show you how to set up an email broadcast. So we go to the message tab and it's basically broken down into three areas. We can create a follow-up sequence, which is your autoresponder messages. We can do an email broadcast or a blog broadcast where we want to syndicate our RSS feed and our blog content through um, a profile message. And so I'm going to go and I'm going to click create a new follow-up message. And pretty straightforward process, you can either add an HTML message, which uh, I would highly encourage you to do, so, so you include hyperlinks to the different pages that you're, you're directing people to. It tends to be a, kind of a good standard practice. As we scroll down, you can also send plain text messages as well. But we're going to send an HTML one today. And first thing we're going to do is add a subject line. And so you can certainly personalize it. If you have collected the person's uh, first name, during the opt-in process on a squeeze page, then you could add this code, first name, so it will start the message with Craig. So you could certainly do that if you've just collected their email address, certainly you won't want to use the personalization feature. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our text editor, and I encourage you to definitely write your autoresponder sequence on, in a document, in a, in a text document, in a Word doc, or using a text editor, and save it. Um, before you actually copy it. You want to make sure you've edited it, saved it, so that it's an easy process to copy and actually set up the autoresponder sequence. And so we're going to go ahead and grab our first message here. And uh, the subject line is, I'm just pulling an example from one of Jeff's newsletters, and the subject line is simply welcome to six and seven. So we're going to put welcome to six and seven. All right, so we got our subject line. And then from there, again, we can personalize it if we have their, their first name. We can go hi, grab personalization again, put their first name in there. And then I'm going to go back to the text editor and uh, I'm going to grab this message. And this is a big chunk of content. So go ahead and copy that. And again, I highly encourage you, definitely have a document set up where you've saved your content before you uh, set up the autoresponder sequence. The only reason I say that is from personal experience in the past, I know I might be sending out a broadcast and I do it quickly without having a backup and you know either my internet goes down or for whatever reason it didn't save and I've lost all that content. So it's good to have it in place before you start the sequence. Okay, so we're gonna grab that content and we're gonna copy it over into this HTML message. All right, so it's all laid out there. And again, you could add some, you can do some bolding. There's obviously a good uh, editor here to add some, um, some other things to the message, but I'm not gonna do that for our purposes today. But I do see that originally this message was just a pure text message. So we wanna hyperlink this one here. So I'm gonna go and just copy this, go up to the editor, grab that, and, and, and pop in a link. Six and seven. Um, we'll insert that in, and there it goes. It'll look exactly like that. So that's where obviously you can put tracking links, affiliate links right in there as well. Okay, so that's the first message. So I'm going to scroll down here, and uh, this is the very first message. So it's it's going to be sent immediately, um, and then you can choose to track clicks if you want to track the number of people that actually click through on the links that you've included. I would highly encourage you to have that because. Uh, ProFollow will have um, that data available for you the next day in terms of um, or ongoing to see how your click-through rates are for the links within your autoresponder. So you can go ahead and preview the message or you can, I'm going to save it today. And so boom, we have our very first message set up for our autoresponder sequence. Okay, so that's the first message. You want to check your spam. They've had the Aweber's connected to spam assassin. You can go ahead and click on this link. So this is the spam score analyzer and it's given a 1.5, which is definitely good, no issues there. Uh, and it's, it's because it's an HTML message um, that's given it a bit of a, a score there, but again, uh, well within the healthy range. 
All right, so let's go ahead and create a second follow-up message. And this is where you would go and then you know, hopefully you've created six or eight or maybe more messages or maybe you've just created your first two or three. You'll go ahead and add them into, uh, into your follow-up sequence here. So we'll go ahead and quickly personalize this subject line again. And then I'm gonna put welcome, or I'm gonna put issue number one of six and seven. Okay, then we'll go ahead and we'll grab it. We'll go back to our text editor. Grab that message. All right, we'll just insert it back into the HTML message area. Well, and then I'll also just personalize it again. Perfect. All right, so we have our second message set up there. And just to scroll down here. All right, so with the interval, you can determine um, how often you want to mail your autoresponder sequence. So this default is set up to four days after that first message that I've created. So you might want to tighten it up a bit and put uh, maybe one day after. So it comes the next day and then maybe your next message comes on the fourth day and your next message comes on the seventh day. But you could totally customize that with an Aweber so you know exactly when that's being delivered. And then they have another feature where if you select this, the message will only be delivered on certain days. So maybe you don't want it to go out on a Sunday or a Friday or Friday or whatever it might be. You can make sure that the message is delivered the following day. All right, so something, uh, something to think about. And then, of course, you can uh, continue to track your clicks. So you can see the click-through rates for the links within your message. And then you go ahead and save the message. So definitely an easy process to set up a autoresponder sequence within Profilo. You can just go for as long as you want and, and create as many follow-up messages. Now the key, as Jeff mentioned earlier, is you just wanna stay ahead of your, of your users. So you might create the first two or three messages and then just be adding them as you go along. So you don't feel the pressure that you have to create three months or six months of content before you actually create your autoresponder sequence. All right, so that's the uh, follow-up messages. Then we're gonna go and actually create a broadcast here. And again, another real simple process. We'll click on the create a broadcast message. We'll add a subject line here. I'm just gonna go back to my text editor. Grab ourselves a subject line. All right, and I'm gonna personalize this. Again, maybe I've, I've collected their first name and so I have it there. Put your bonus and next live call. And then we're going to go grab the text for this one. Copy it in there. And again, we may have to go through the document and add a couple hyperlinks uh, strategically so that we're linking out to whatever page or blog or offer that we're, we're sending people to. So the content is in place. And just to scroll down, show you a couple different features here. Uh, you can send it immediately, which it'll go out, you know, it'll queue up and go out within a, a number of minutes, or you can send it later. Maybe you want to send it at a, at a specific time. Maybe it's to go out early in the morning, so we'll send it out at uh, 6 a.m. Eastern time. So maybe that's a good time for us to send that message. All right, then you can actually segment your message, so you might send it out to the People that were added in the last 30 days, the last seven days, you can even customize the segmentation further over here by clicking through. I won't show you that right now, but you can definitely uh, segment your messaging as, as needed for your particular broadcast. Then you wanna track the clicks, definitely wanna get the click-through rate data for this message. And there's also a social media sharing feature. So through, through Twitter or Facebook, you can go and actually share this message and it'll come up like a web page for them to view. So something to think about. And then you can also get some quick stat notifications. So if you want to receive notifications on your, your click-through rates, um, you can have them email you directly those ongoing uh, notifications. Okay, always want to preview your message, make sure it looks good, and then we can save it. And uh, we're good to go from there. All right, so when it's, once it's queued up, we just want to make sure the subject line looks good. We see that it's an HTML message. The click tracking is on. The spam is, is well within the appropriate healthy range and uh, we're good to queue it. So we can go ahead and click queue and that will uh, queue up our message and, uh, and get it ready to send out. All right, so that's the very simple process of setting up an autoresponder sequence and creating an email broadcast through Profilo. We'll see you in another video soon.